because the Chinese have uh, wrench, uh, wrenched up this uh, military threat against Taiwan, engage in uh, economic coercion, and also engage in hybrid warfare against Taiwan. And I think in order to prevent war from taking place or for Taiwan and the United States to work closer with each other, those kinds of communications are absolutely necessary. And for Speaker Pelosi to visit Taiwan and to show her support for Taiwan, that is highly welcomed by the Taiwanese government and the Taiwanese people. The Chinese objective is to continue to isolate Taiwan, but to Taiwan, for us to, uh, uh, in order to, for us to be able to fight against the Chinese attempt to isolate us, we need friends. Speaker Pelosi was widely popular and well received in Taiwan. A lot of people uh, in Washington, D.C., as well as in other parts of the world, were quite worried about that moment. Um, and I think, you know, Secretary Esper, you actually uh, supported Speaker Pelosi's visit. My view was, from a government perspective, is the United States should not be deterred by big statements coming out of Beijing. And if you do, if you back down, and allow Beijing, Beijing to dictate where and when our officials travel, then that's just kowtowing to them. And that sends, again, sends all the wrong signals. So I think Speaker Pelosi did the right thing. Beijing's been doing the last year, at least since Pelosi's visit, with increased crossings of the median line, warships off the waters of Taiwan. All they're doing is slicing away at the standards, at the bars by which we protect uh, and, and Taiwan safeguards its sovereignty. I think the United States and its friends in the region should match that, should, should challenge the Taiwan with our own deployments, our own exercises, our own, our own increased training, so that the Chinese realize that the more they pick this up, the more we will, we will assist and not back down. And I, I don't think we've sent a strong enough signal to Beijing when it comes to those types of actions on our part. Uh, Beijing has been trying to change the status quo unilaterally over the Taiwan Strait. And it's not just the Taiwan Strait. I think all democracies need to work with each other to prevent Beijing from changing, unilaterally changing the status quo in different parts of the world.